welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to show you how to use your texture brush with paint instead of wax. We use it for wax and it makes great texture, but we also can use it with paint. So we want to demonstrate that for you today. So I'm going to start with lighter color here and I'm going to slide in my color and I'm going to pounce it off and I'm going to put it onto my gourd. You can see this real cool texture that I'm getting. So that's a lot of fun and you can do that with the paint. Think of other things too, not just gourds that you can use it on, different craft items or we're using it here on some cardstock. So we've got that real cool background going on that's lots of fun. So I'm going to go into my darker color here and I'm going to rinse it out just like I would a paintbrush all my colors out and then I'm going to dry it real well and when you're working with your texture brush I always tell you even with the wax go from the lightest to the darkest so you want to work that way with the paint as well so I'm going to go into some blue paint this time and you can see I'm pulling it out and then pouncing it and I'm going to come back in over my light blue. I'm going to just put that in there as well. And we've got that, again, that great, great texture. Let's show you what it looks like on the paper. There it is by itself. And we're putting it back in with the light. So that really makes it a lot of fun and you can see when I'm pushing all the way down I'm getting those bigger flecks so if you don't want those bigger flecks load it and pounce it but then don't push as hard don't push your brush down as hard just kind of pounce it off instead of going all the way down so that's um, a really fun way to use your texture brush as well and we have the texture brush and the insert so you can use them with the wax available on our website at miriamjoy.com so come on over there and check those out so those are lots of fun another thing is just over your paint as you can see just another different thing to do there I also want to show you a couple of other things you can do just besides the texture is loading it the same way and then coming in and just swirling it and this makes a real neat if you wanted winter background, I think it makes a real cool winter background, or if you wanted to use it as a flower, it would make a great flower as well. We'll show you how it looks on the paper, and I'll bring that up in a second here as well. And you could do that and add your leaves to the flower or whatever you wanted, or use that as your background. And then I'm also going to show you how to do kind of a cross hatching as well and you're just going to basically I'm kind of on the curve of the board here so it makes it a little bit tougher but you're just going to come in and go back and forth you don't want to fill every part up just leave some of it open so that makes a real unique background and we'll do that on the paper as well so we just come in and just pull it down and oops pull it sideways so again you have that real unique background look created all out of one brush and these are an exclusive brush we manufacture them at Miriam Joy so this is the only place that you can get them they're made just for us and mainly for the wax technique so you can do any of these that we did also with the wax technique using the insert as well and also on our website we have the different links to YouTube and Pinterest and uh, fun things like that uh, Facebook where you can check those out as well so thank you for joining me today and if you ever have any questions please email me at art and thank you god bless